the Chef Skill TV, we're making the real spaghetti carbonara. And the reason I say real is because, according to Chef Rigo, we don't know how to make it. No, Australians don't know how to make uh, carbonara properly. Why? Because you put cream, you put a ham, you put mushrooms, peas, it's everything. Wrong. All right, so if we're doing it wrong, show me the ingredients so that we need. very easy, the carbonara. You have the pasta, it's usually spaghetti. And you have the guanciale, this cured pork chick. Here we have some pecorino pepato. Originally, you can use just the pecorino, okay. normal pecorino. Eggs, I'm gonna use three egg, egg yolks per person and pepper. Beautiful. That's it, nothing, no other ingredients. Right? And we're using the spaghetti that we made in our previous vlog. Yeah. That was homemade. Jeff Rigo, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Carbonara. So it's called carbonara because it comes from the word carbonaro in Italian means uh, the charcoal burner. The charcoal so burner. It's very heavy, a lot of calories and could help them all over the day to keep working. Beautiful. So the first thing is uh, since it's a very fast sauce, it's put the water to boil. Yep. Okay. So the water's boiling. It's boiling. So we start with the guanciale. You can find it in every Italian uh, grocery store. <laughs> so the first thing with the guanciale is uh, you have to take out the thick skin. We are gonna do some slices, thick slices. Yeah. Okay. We try to cut it in long strings. We're gonna cut it uh, obliquamente. Since uh, the guanciale is uh, a pretty fat cure meat, we are not gonna use any fat for cook it. So, no oil, no butter. Stop eating it! You know you're not allowed to eat before we make it. I'm gonna put it in the pan. And when it's gonna be crispy, I'm gonna put the spaghetti in the water <laughs> and you're gonna cook it. I love step. your fashion. So, the second step is something you can do. Yes! So it's cracking the eggs. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. Here we put the egg whites. And here you put the egg yolks. And here you put back the shell. So be fast. Well, I already know that you're gonna break it. Wait, wait, careful, careful, careful. Try. Put it there straight away. You're scaring me. Can I show you the way to do it? I know how to do it. No. Well, I actually do know how to do it. It's just not working today. What? Ah! Now wait, wait, I'm gonna show you the last one. Okay. So everyone can see how to do it. You open it. You open it here yeah, like that. Yeah, but you took the... Now, so you go with your hands like that. And... Oh! Press. All the white. Goes up. Why no. did you say that before? Well, because... Uh, I can't tell you everything. Yeah, I'm the apprentice. Those are the secrets of the chef. Very... Beautiful guanciale. We have our egg yolks here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna grate the pecorino. Hey, you're so good at being a chef. Yeah. Why is it the fan on? Look, it's a disaster. Put a, a lot of cracked pepper. Oh, cracked pepper. The, the guanciale is uh, already salty enough. So you just have to put salt in the cooking water for the pasta. Yeah. And that's it. Now we're gonna mix it. So about 120 grams each. Yeah. Of nice uh, fresh spaghetti. Yeah. Alrighty. So that pasta won't take long to cook because it's homemade and it's fresh. Add a ladle of water to the pan. We are gonna put the. Uh, a little bit of water as well here, mm. but you have to be super fast. Okay. And because otherwise the eggs will cook. And then mix it uh, very fast like that. Otherwise the eggs they are gonna get scrambled. All right. And we don't want scrambled eggs. Other big mistake on the carbonara is to scramble the eggs and don't make them creamy and smooth. What a nice, interesting treat. Nice. You can see the. Crispy guanciale is still crispy. 
We haven't even added the egg to the fry pan yet. We're actually putting the pasta first. So we have put the spaghetti in the water. One and a half minutes there. Yeah. But they are still not ready. So we're gonna keep going cooking them a little bit in the water here. In the fry pan. With the guanciale. So it's gonna release more of stuff. So all the water has evaporated and we've turned down the heat. We can add the egg. Yeah, with the pecorino. Be very fast. Toss it, toss it. Otherwise, it's gonna scramble. No more heat. Going tossing like that. Otherwise, you see, it's nice and creamy. The eggs are cooked. Uh, they are not over like 65 degrees, and that's why they are not scrambled. Oh my gosh, look how great that looks. So now it's time to plate the spaghetti carbonara. So, the spaghetti carbonara is one of those plates that. Uh, you can plate uh, in a, a flat plate yeah. because uh, it's creamy enough. If you do it right, it's creamy enough to stay on the plate. Tweezers. Tweezers. Sharp tweezers. Sharp tweezers and a ladle, and you're just spinning it inside the ladle to get it all. A nice uh, nest. The nest. That. And you slowly place, place it onto the plate. It's come out and you have this nice shape. Amazing. Whoa, that's cool. On top. That's for you. Oh, that's for me. Okay. And after here we have all the guanciale left over. Nice and creamy. And we are going to put it on top. Like that. So the plate is perfect like that. Yeah. But we are going to finish it with some Pecorino pepato. More pecorino pepato on top. Real spaghetti carbonara made by Chef Rigo. Looks delicious. Very easy and quick dish that's very filling. So there you have it. You now know. Oh my god, Dante, be careful. Interrupting my speech. So there you have it. We've made the real spaghetti carbonara. It's a very easy dish with minimal ingredients. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, The Chef's Girl. Can we eat now? I'm hungry. We can eat now. All right. Okay, see you next week.